Quiet, I'm about to make my shot here. Throw it! Hey, I'm trying to concentrate here. Quiet. Uh. Oh, that's terrible. That's a point. No, it's not. What? Yeah, yeah. That's two. Si, you do hey. understand Boom. the purpose of this game, don't you? What? Make it into the hole. <laughs> hey, here we kill go. that goat, Si. Uh -oh. Yes, he's okay. around. Okay. Get him, goat. Get, back. Get him. Get back. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are y'all doing? Why ain't y'all working? Taking a break. All right, well, look. The truck's gonna be here at 9 o'clock in the morning. Make sure you have the order ready. Oh, we'll have it. This party's just getting started. <laughs> it never gets old. What is that? A goat. Why are you a goat? It's an inside joke. I get it. I get the goat. Yeah. Yeah. I know the guys think that I'm the freaking party police. You don't think I want to play around every once in a while? <laughs> and have the inside jokes involving sounding like a goat? Of course I do. I want to be in the loop. Get him, goat. Get him. Get him, goat. I can make a goat sound. <laughs> <laughs> Pedal. Yeah. The point is, we got to get the order done. Then we can play. Make sure you have the order ready. We're going to get it done. We're charging our battery. It's called time management. Well, if you'd manage your time better, you wouldn't have to stay up here so late. It's just more fun, man. Really fun. Every so often, we'll have a big order come in, so we'll have to pull an all-nighter to get the job done. It's an all-nighter, baby. All night long. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's kind of an inside joke. And it's actually more fun than usual because it's easier to maintain the monotony of putting together duck calls when you're a little loopy. You make sure our truck's loaded up. I don't care how late you stay up. Oh, we'll load the truck. That's a point. <laughs> All right, get it done. <laughs> get him, goat. <laughs> you just got goat. What is that? Inside joke. The first thing we have to do is clean our nails before we get ready. Let me see yours again. <gasps> Your nails are longer than mine. They're beautiful. Who is that? Don't strike a match in here. What's that smell, Miss Kay? It's nail polish and nail polish remover. Whew, that rot your brain. God gave humans fingernails. They are remarkably productive. Fused properly. Now, don't breathe this in. Do you know why, Priscilla? You don't want to breathe those fumes? You ever seen a dead animal in the road? That's the way your brain will look. Oh, look at here. I got a thorn. Bingo. Like a pair of pliers. Fingernails. Don't call our grandkids roadkill, please. Just their brain. Or they can be used to catch a stray booger from time to time. I don't want to be roadkill. When you have a chemical concoction that you're putting on your fingernails, I would be a little suspect of moving that fingernail toward a stray booger. Well, I'm getting out of here, ladies, before my brain melts. Is my brain really going to melt? No, it's not going to melt. Miss Kay, when are you taking these little girls home to their mamas? Ah, uh, probably in a little while. We want to stay. We want to stay. Please, 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 please. please. Phil, they're begging. It's been my observation that a sleepover at Mamma and Papaw's never has much sleep. We never get to stay with you. I've been down this road plenty of times. Pretty please. Now, they're going to ask like sweet little angels. Please. Trying to get Miss Kay to cave in. Please. Trust me, it ain't going to happen. Now, y'all better go home. You got to be firm about it, no matter what they say. No! Now, you little rascals. Please, please, please. These little girls, they will try to flatter you. You have the best beard in the world. They try to convince you. Who's the greatest hunter you ever you. met? You. They will say all sorts of stuff. Who's a great fisherman? You. Who's a great cook? I'm okay. <laughs> but in the end, the answer is always the same. Two out of three ain't bad. OK. I gave in. So look, here's the deal. Y'all promise to be quiet. Yes. 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 They promise. All right. You can have the sleepover. Yay! 
get that dental eye long. We're gonna have fun all night long, ain't we? So what about the one where he makes torpedoes out of fire extinguishers? Not near as good as the one where he takes the two candlesticks and a car battery and makes a defibrillator. Classic MacGyver. Sometimes at lunch, we reminisce about old TV shows we used to watch. Today's topic, MacGyver. The best one was when he made a stethoscope and cracked a safe. No, that wasn't nothing. Everybody knows MacGyver, hey, he was the ultimate redneck. Kind of like me. Look, I'm a guy with stuff all the time. You need a weapon? Give me a flip-flop and big leg chew. What are you doing? I'm concentrating this UV light. That's not UV light, sir. Huh? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. You need a laser? Give me a six toothbrushes, OK, and a pair of sunglasses. That's McSiver. You need a grilled cheese sandwich? Hey, look, all I need is a lamp, Jack. Well, plus the cheese and the bread, but still. I can see this is going to take a while. <laughs> All right. What's up? What's up? Oh, man. Boy, you just missed a humdinger. What y'all doing? We're talking about MacGyver. I love MacGyver. What's your favorite episode? Um, there's so many. What was he? Did stuff. Classic MacGyver. Mm -hmm. So tonight, should I bring anything or? Mm -hmm. I want to come up here tonight. I'm gonna stay fun? with y'all. Pulling all night, or y'all need some help? No, we got it. No, we got it. We can do the goat. <laughs> Go and do the goat. <laughs> do it. We're off the goat. We're on to the 18 wheeler. <laughs> 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 No. It's borderline embarrassing. The real reason Willie is volunteering his help is because he feels like the odd man out. What are you, a weed eater? It's like, hey, that's like a car. No. If Willie wants to be a part of the group, then all he needs to do is contribute something worthwhile. What about horses? It just starts to get a little weird when someone is trying so hard. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> crash. Well, as usual, by the time we start having some fun around here, Willie wants to crash the party. Classic Willie. Hey, you better take it easy on them pixie sticks. No. That's this here's my energy booster. Hey, it's you... my fuel. The key to an all-nighter is, OK, is you got to keep it on an even keel. What are you making, sir? Pixie stick cocktail. How many of those have you drank? Four or five of them. Before there was energy drinks, yeah. soda, and coffee, there was pixie sticks. You keep that up, you're going to crash, son. Not when I'm flying on this, ain't Hey, right, it's all about moderation with these pixie sticks. And you don't want to overdo it. If you do that, you're going to be wandering the streets looking for your next pixie fix. I don't see how you got any teeth in your head. He doesn't. They gone. <laughs> you got a few hanging on for dear life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What's up? What's so funny? Oh, uh, well, what was the joke? You got to feel sorry for Willie. You missed it. You had to be here on that one. <laughs> the guy wanted to be a part of the group. What y'all doing? The problem is, having him around here, it's like having your mom at the prom. Pixie sticks are funny. Mm. <laughs> oh, what to say? It's cramping my style. <laughs> Y'all need me to do something? But you can go get me another box of pixie sticks. I'm not here to go get your crap. I'm here to work. We've got this worked out. Sai's got the reads, we got the calls. I don't. What in the world was that? Some kind of bird. It ain't a bird, and, si. uh, and he must be dying. 
I can't deal with that. Look, I make duck calls all day. My ears are finely tuned instruments. Y'all got to do something about that. All right, everybody calm down. So when I hear a sound that's particularly unpleasant, check the battery. I'm going to solve this problem right now. I got to put a stop to it. Problem solved. I ain't good enough. Battery out of dot. Stupid thing. Uh-oh, brought one. The one out in the warehouse. All right, I got to go fix that. I'll go with you. No, I, I got this. I ain't sitting in here with these ding-dongs. I got one for you. A goat almost getting run over by an 18-wheeler. Go. <laughs> Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, how like Bobo and JJ. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. When does the sleep part kick in here? Tomorrow night. All right, now look here. I'll make a deal with you. I'll tell you a real scary story. Yeah. And you'll sleep like a baby once you hear it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's either come up with a story or listen to Simon Says for four hours, so I'm thinking, I'll come up with a story. A ghost story? Scarier than a ghost story. A zombie? More scary than a zombie. A zombie and a vampire and a ghost? The key to telling a scary story, throw a little realism in there. When I tell you the story, you go to bed, right? Yeah, yes. It's a deal, okay? Get the light. I'm thinking, hey, at least it'll shut them up. It's a good thing. Once upon a time, a long time ago, I was in the dark woods, and I hear this sound. It sounded like an animal, a big animal. And I could hear, like, growls, and there were grunts. Was it Bigfoot? I didn't know at the time, but whatever it is, it sounds very, very bad. So I get my gun ready, and you know what it was? What was it? What was it? It was Uncle Si. And when he walked out of the bushes, there was barf all over his hunting jacket, persimmons mixed with bad meatloaf all on the front of his shirt. Ew. Gross. Gross? It was scary. It's like a monster, vomit monster. So y'all ready to go to sleep now? No! Well, it's my bedtime, whether it is yours or not. Simon told Papa Phil to go to bed. Simon says never mix meatloaf and persimmons at the same time. This is awesome. Classic all-nighter. I wanna stay at work all night and work some more the next day. There's actually a serious competition going on in the warehouse tonight. Are you finished? Yeah, that's worse than the chirp. It's between Willie and the smoke detector for the title of most annoying. I have solved the problem. You hear that? Sweet sound of silence. <laughs> How many are there in this warehouse? A ton of them. God, please let this be the one. I think this is it. <sighs> oh. Is that it? Oh, that's it. Thank goodness. The whole reason I even volunteered to be part of this all-nighter is because the next day they told all these awesome stories. Man, I just want to smash this thing. <laughs> yeah, I know it. But instead, this night was about as much fun as, well, tracking down a chirping smoke detector. <sighs> Why do you keep yawning? I, I'm fine. Honestly, I'm just tired and ready for this fun all-nighter to be over with. All-nighter rookie is what you are. Mm-hmm. We have found the suspect. Wasn't from a lack of looking. I'll take care of that. Mm. 
lost your mind? Just don't smash a perfectly good working. Whew. <laughs> that felt good. <sighs> Are you through? Yeah. We went to hunt this smoke detector to silence it. Dude, I had a limited warranty on this. Now, the smashing, that was for me. You owe me for a new smoke detector. What are you talking about? I said I want to smash it. You said go ahead. I wanted to, but I wouldn't actually do it. I'm not a catch and release guy. It wasn't working right. That's why I killed it. As a hunter, I think this is one of the most enjoyable kills I've ever had. There was nothing wrong with it. It was the battery. But you got to be all serious like a CEO. Look, <laughs> man, you need to stick to your desk. I need the all-nighters to people like me. Yeah, well, I'm taking off your paycheck. I gotta put this back together and show the boys. Well, I killed it. Dead. One more stirring and you're going to bed, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. Once upon a time, there was this beautiful princess. She was a looker. Like in Chicks on the Weather Channel, you know what I'm saying? Well, somewhere about on story 17, Miss Kay had left the premises. Last thing you want to let happen when you're telling stories to your granddaughters. Everything's quiet in the kingdom. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Is you be the last storyteller standing. What are y'all doing away? Bobby was telling us a story. Well, he's not telling one now. Can we pull a trick on I got just the thing. <sighs> oh, watch. Go, girl. What are you doing? It's whipped cream. Have y'all gone crazy? Huh? I'll get you a little boogers. You like it, JJ? I love sleepovers. We're almost done, boys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. Y'all notice when me and Sai show up, the merchandise starts to roll. Y'all called in the big guns here today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all don't get off the yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Just call me yes or no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so they got yes, sir on the brain. It's kind of an inside joke. There he is. You were zonked out last night. God, no. Can't Everybody go to sleep? No. No. It was an all-nighter. For a guy who wanted to be a part of our all-nighter and get in on all our inside jokes. All right, did you get the job done? Yes, sir, we did, Groucho. <laughs> <laughs> Willie missed out on a few key developments while he was snoozing. All right, show me your eyebrows one time. Do, do like he does it. Do your eyebrows. What are you Up talking about? Up and down. It's kind of like that movie, Nightmare on Elm Street. Hey there, Groucho. Why do you keep calling me Groucho? No reason. I'm not being Groucho. You look it. When you fall asleep, bad things happen. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror? No. Nah. You might ought to check out the way you look and then get back with me. Check yourself out there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I'd like to say I'm surprised, but when you employ a bunch of 12-year-olds like I do, you snooze, you lose. I'll tell you something, this better come off my face. Hey, that is a permanent magic marker. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You come to expect juvenile behavior. It wouldn't be funny if it would come very off. Very funny, very mature. Hey, right. you gotta admit, you look pretty good. <laughs> and that's exactly why I should have never, ever, ever let them talk me into this stupid all-nighter. The first one that goes to sleep, hey. Gets the heat. Get the baby. Hmm? What does that even mean? He who sleeps gets the baby? I didn't say that. 
Yeah, you did. You definitely said he who sleeps gets the baby. No, I didn't say that. Yeah, you just no. said it. All right, y'all finish this up. I gotta get this crap off my face before the girls get here for breakfast. Good luck, Groucho. Hey, I got a belt sander you can use. Oh. My famous French toes, guys. Good thinking, Miss Kay. All right, y'all bow. Father, we believe you created planet Earth. We really do. Thank you for this meal and all these Robertsons gathered up here at the table. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. People always say, be careful what you wish for. You might just get it. Lucky for us, Robertsons have extremely thick skin. So it doesn't matter if you end up being the butt of the jokes you want to be a part of, or your scary story plan backfires into some whipped cream in your face. You have to find the humor underneath. As long as everyone, including you, gets a good laugh at it, the wish wasn't completely wasted. I'm out of here. <laughs>